Hi moms, it's Marley here. So I just wanted to take a few minutes of your time and share this kind of aha moment I had this morning during my devotional. So um, I am one that struggles with mom guilt um, pretty frequently. I have guilt if I do something for myself or if I am out shopping very rarely for a new outfit, I've got to pick up something for the kids or if I can't be at every event or everything or if I'm not constantly, you know, doing something for the kids, if I choose to take some quiet time, take a bubble bath, go for a run, you know, do those things when they are not asleep or, you know, it's time that they'll have to have a little bit of extra screen time where I can get some reading in or, you know, things for myself. I suffer from a lot of mom guilt from it because I feel like, you know, I don't want to miss out on their childhood. I want them to know that I'm super involved with them and I'm always there for them. But, you know, we have to have that balance of self-care and, you know, independence from our kids as well as, you know, being in their lives as well. And so we have to, we have to kind of balance that. And so, that is something I struggle with quite a bit. And especially on like this health and fitness journey, it really, you know, you get those kind of negative thoughts in your head like, oh, you know, you didn't wake up early enough, so you have to miss out on your workout today because you ha you can't do it while the kids are awake. You have to be with them or you have to be serving them or cooking for them or playing games with them or doing something. And, you know, this, these voices are talking constantly in my head. And so if you suffer with mom guilt or if you can relate at all, just kind of take a deep breath because I kind of had this, you know, sometimes when you're praying for something and you're praying for help, the answer comes in the most simplest form, but we have to make sure that we have our eyes open and our spirits awake to be able to receive it. And so I felt like this morning, God just kind of said, here, let go of your mom guilt. It's not for me. It is the crazy devil doing this to you, making you weak, and you don't have to live like that anymore. So... The verse that um, I was, my devotional was actually about something similar but different. And so I just kept reading um, on past the verses that had to do with my devotional. And I ran upon, and um, it was called, it was similar to anxiety. And it was overcoming anxiety, just, you know, just trusting. And then the next one was about the fruit of the Spirit. So if you're unsure of what the fruit of the spirits are, I don't, I don't have them memorized. I actually had to look them up. But the fruit of the spirits are love, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So I will be honest, I don't carry the fruit of the spirits 100% all the time. I definitely need to be working on that. But the next thing that it said, and the verse that really kind of spoke to me was, it was Matthew 7, 18, and it said, a healthy tree bears good fruit, but a diseased tree or an unhealthy tree, there's no way that it can bear nothing but bad fruit. And so I really, I'm like, you know, just kind of like, you know, let it sink in for a minute. So when I choose to be healthier, when I choose to take my workout, take my self-care, do the stress reliever for the day, because it's more than just a workout. I mean, if you kind of give it all to your workout, you relieve the stress, the anxiety. You know, when you work out, you actually get good euphoria, you know, in your brain. And um, when, when those things happen and my kids are playing outside by themselves or having a little extra screen time, because I'm in here doing self-care, I don't have to feel guilty about it because me working on being the healthiest me is actually helping me bear that good fruit, have more patience, have more self-control where I don't have to be the emotional eater because I'm so stressed out that I'm just shoving whatever in my face or, um, you know, no patience. You know, I used to be the worst, I'll have to admit it, monster mom in the morning. Like before I started this self-care routine a year and a half ago, I felt like our mornings were horrible. I, you know, nobody was going fast enough. I was having to yell or scream or come on, hurry, hurry, out the door, out the door, out the door that just broke my heart. Like <laughs> I hated mornings like that because what that does is when your morning starts negative, it falls over into the rest of your day and everything else you're doing. And it's not fair to the kids. So, you know, and love and patience and peace, like truly having peace over your day and over, over the struggles that are going on, knowing that just trusting God is going to be okay. Like that doesn't come unless you're mentally healthy, unless you have like this mind shift change that comes with accountability groups, that comes with the relationshiping among friends to help pick you up to, you know, choosing healthier foods to put in your body. Did you realize that even though you're just hungry and you're just going to grab whatever because you're busy, 
if you, when you're at lunch, like if you actually chose something healthier, you would have a more peaceful rest of your day because you filled your body with the nutrition that it needed. So it's not going to give those hunger pains, those cravings, that anxiety and that stress and that, you know, when I get hungry and when I have no hunger pains, I turn into this snippy person that's crazy, you know, that self-control is gone, that gentleness is gone, and I don't want to be that person. I don't. God created us to live here and to be and um, thrive in this life and to bear fruit. Like, my daughter, I want her to know that it's okay to take care of her, herself, even though she has kids, to you know, take that bubble bath if she needs it. Eat that healthier food. You know, if it's hard during the week to make, you know, eat healthier, take those two hours on the weekend. Ha you know, have have daddy take the kids. Go play. Go somewhere for two hours. You know, have a little extra screen time. There's no mom judgment there. And you do what you need to prepare yourself for the rest of the week so you can have and bear good fruit because I mean, the Bible says it, and it it is in its simplest form, but it has so much meaning. If you if we as moms are not healthy on the inside, we are not emotionally healthy, mentally healthy, physically healthy. You know, we cannot bear and give goodness to the people who need it most: our kids, our friends, our family, and our spouse. Like we cannot do that. So, moms. Wash away your mom guilt of wanting to lose those few extra pounds because you will get the confidence, the booster, the peace, the joy from it. You know, you let go of going to get your nails done. You know, that's something that I recently have started doing just for myself. And it is something that, you know, it's only about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, but it is something for me. And it's something that I have chose to, done, to do because it's my str it's a stress reliever as well. So moms just know that it even says in the Bible, God decreed it that to be healthy, that's how you bear the good fruits. And the only way to have your love, your peace, your patience, your kindness, your gentleness, your faithfulness and self-control is to be your healthiest version. And to do that, it does take work. It doesn't happen overnight, but with the right accountability groups and the right help, it can be done. And the right programs. You've got to be able to enjoy it and have a flexible program as well. So I just really took a lot from that simple verse and a lot was validated where I don't have to have the mom guilt because I want to eat eat the healthier foods or I want to work out or, you know, I want to be a specific pant size because that is what helps me physically be able to take care of my kids, mentally be a better mom, have more patience, do the things I need to do. So it's verified. It's verified in the Bible. And so all that mom guilt is gone. No more mom guilt. So if you are inspired by this, please let me know or let me see your comments on things that you do to keep your fruit of the spirits, to be healthy. Because being healthy is not just eating right and exercising. Because if that doesn't mentally make you happy, if you have to add other things in there, like that extra bubble bath, you know, if, if, shop, if retail therapy healthy, where you're not going into debt is your thing, then that's okay. If reading a good book, sitting outside, you know, swimming, whatever it is, there are so many options for that, you know, bearing that healthy fruit. So I'd love to know what yours is and hope you'll have a, a wonderful day and um, hope that inspires you. Bye.